of you that don't know me, most of you are probably getting to know me a little bit at this stage. My name is Neve, uh, Neve Kiernan, and I am based in Dublin in Ireland. And I'm a Sapphire manager with Forever, and I have been with Forever now for 17 years. So my background is beauty therapy. I was a beauty therapist by trade, loved my job, but didn't like the income at the end of the month and didn't like sacrificing my time for money and having to choose whether to be present with my little boy or whether I had to go out to work and, um, sorry, I'm just here admitting everybody, <laughs> um, or whether I had to go out to work and you know, to get paid that way. So it was difficult. It was really, really difficult. It was a difficult choice for me. I never really knew what to do. I never really knew whether to stay at home, whether to go out to work. I was just in this permanent state of confusion. That's how I felt. Okay, a permanent state of confusion. And I was somebody that was looking. So what I want to tell you now tonight, 1 million percent, there are people looking there are people looking for what you have your hands on. There are people looking to be healthier. There are people looking to be um, to feel better in themselves and to, you know, get up in the morning, have lots of energy, feel great. There are people looking for that extra income. There are people going to be watching you. So with social media, it's definitely thinking to yourself, who is your target audience? And I want you to write that down. Who is my target audience? Who am I speaking to every day on social media? Who are the people that I'm going to inspire to be healthier or to have that extra income stream coming in as well? So who is it that is your um, target market? So when I started building my business with Forever, imagine there was no social media. So I was one of, I call myself one of the dinosaurs, really. You know, I started building forever when there was no social media. We had no Instagram. We had no Facebook groups. We had no team chats. We had no WhatsApp. We had no anything like this. It was you text somebody or you'd email them or you'd pick up the phone and ring them. So there was no social interaction like we have today. But things have moved. Things have moved so much. And I think I got to senior manager or was a yeah, senior manager in the marketing plan before the development of social media. And then when social media appeared, it was like, wow, OK, this is amazing. However, I was one of the people that was very reluctant. I was one of those people that didn't want to be on social media. I kept thinking to myself, why would I want everybody to know what I'm doing all the time? I didn't get it. I didn't get it for a long time. Until I was at a manager's summit, I was at a manager's retreat and Aidan O'Hare, our amazing president, Aidan was at that and he was speaking. And this was many, many years ago. And Aidan said, who's not on Facebook? Hands up, who's not on Facebook? And I put my hand up and he said, why not? You're missing out. You're slowing down. You know how fast your business is going to go. And I came home from that retreat, totally inspired and thinking to myself, OK, I need to try. I need to try and grasp this. And I did. I did. And what I would say is social media, it's not everything. We are a face to face, belly to belly business. There is no doubt about it. But what we can do with social media is speed up the process. We speed up the process. You can bring in a lot of attraction marketing. You know, people will mail you wanting to know what you're doing, what it's all about. And I think that is the amazing thing is when you have people mailing you. I had two people mail me yesterday, um, one on Facebook, one on Instagram. And, you know, can you tell me what you do? Can you send me some information? Um, I run a weekly business presentation. So I'm like, yeah, of course, here's some information. But come on to my business presentation next week. So this is when you know you're doing it right is when people are inspired to mail you looking for product, to mail you looking for information. OK, so hopefully I'm going to give you some nuggets um, this evening that I keep I keep going to say good morning <laughs> because it's morning time here in Dublin but good e you know this evening so that you feel inspired and you feel capable and you feel that you want to really really do this because what I would say to you is if you're not on social media you are missing out and you are missing out big style okay so let's have a wee look why you would be missing out okay so why social media so let's have a little look why why social media so take a photo of this slide write down some notes I'm a firm believer in notes my husband James laughs at me all the time but look I've loads of notes I'm all the time writing notes even though I'm we live in such a digital world I when I attend a training 
always write my notes because I feel that it definitely penetrates more into my brain. So maybe that's just me, but most definitely it does. So why social media? So we live in a digital world. Would you agree? Would you agree? Let me know in the chat bar. Who has a phone? <laughs> who has a phone? Who has a laptop? Do you find that everywhere you're going, people are on their phones? Have you noticed that? If you're in a waiting room, nobody is sitting, nobody's chit-chatting anymore. Everyone's on their phone. Everyone's using the chance to catch up on their socials. If you go onto a bus, everyone is on their phone. We live in that digital world. We live in a digital landscape. So we need to put ourselves into that landscape so that people can see what it is we do. We're going to add value to their lives. We're going to help them in so many different ways. So we have a vast audience reach. So 4.9 billion users globally. Like that's insane. That really is incredible, guys. 4.9 billion users globally. So have a think to yourself. You know, you might be in Australia this evening, but you could have a business in Ireland. You could have a business in the UK. You can have a business in South Africa. I get an income from over 10 different countries in the forever world. OK, so you can do that as well all from your phone. And a lot of it can be organic as well. Okay, so brand awareness and recognition. So again, the more people that are talk, talking about our, our product, the better because people are going to see it more. They're going to be more aware of it. Cost-effective marketing, it's free. When you do a post, it's free. You put something in your story, it's free. Okay, so it's free marketing, very, very cost-effective. Direct customer interaction. You are going to see who is viewing your stories. It is going to give you a chance to directly mail them from your story. So when you post something in your story, you can go in and you see the viewers. When you see the viewers, you can then mail them from the story and say to them, hey, thanks so much for viewing my stories. Would you be interested in taking a look? Would you like the link for this evening? OK, always be promoting the business presentation. So I've put together a schedule for Australia for the next four or five weeks. I have it written out and I'm going to be doing regular business presentations. So always be thinking ahead. Who am I going to have on that business presentation? Who am I going to have looking at the business? Remember, new eyes all the time, new eyes on our opportunity, new eyes on our business. And that is why we use social media, because it's just repetition, repetition, repetition. It's rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. It's the same things we do all the time. We get to measure our data. We get to measure our data and it's a networking tool. OK, so we get to see how many people are looking at our, our stories. We get to see how many people are logging into events. OK, so it's easy to measure data. It's portable, so you can do it anywhere. So when James and I are going out or we're going to, you know, we're going to bring the kids away next week um, down um, to a different place in Ireland for a few days. James will drive. I'll catch up. I'll catch up on my work, on my socials, in my car. It is portable. OK, and platforms we're already using. Guys, let's face it. Does anyone look? Do you look at your screen time at the end of the day? So I know with an iPhone, it will give you the screen time at the end of the day. <laughs> and you look at this screen time and you're like, wow, I was two hours. I was two hours on socials today. I challenge you to really take note of your social media time because your phone will tell you how long you've been spending every day. And at the end, end of it, ask yourself, wow, you know, how much of that was actually an income producing activity? And I want you to think to yourself that them letters, IPA, income producing activity, because if you can think to yourself, right, I'm on social media. What is it I'm doing? And it's about being time, really, really careful with your time. We all live in busy times. We're all in a busy world. We all have busy, crazy lives. But why give that 30 minutes a day? I can honestly say I can build my business in 30 minutes a day. Yes, Quite often, I'm four or five hours if I'm working. If I sit down and I say, okay, I have to do lots of different work and I catch up and I do all that different work. But on days when I'm busy, on days when time is an issue, on days when I think I don't really have time to do my business today, you need to flip that and you need to say, well, actually, I could give it five minutes now. The dinner's cooking, the kids are playing, whatever, wherever you are. I'll give it five minutes and you sit down and you do 
five minutes. So it's about being consistent. Consistency is what will get this business moving for you. One million percent. OK, so can anyone relate to this? Let me know in the chat bar. Who feels like this girl? Who feels like pulling your hair out because you're like, oh, my goodness, I actually don't even know where to start. There is platforms everywhere. We have Instagram. We have Facebook. We have WhatsApp. We have Snapchat. We have YouTube. We have TikTok. To some, they're lying. I actually said to James, what's lying? He says, I don't know. So we actually have platforms that I, I'm not even on. OK, so it's massive overwhelm, a massive overload. So what I would encourage you to do greatly, OK, is to just breathe, just breathe and say, OK, I'm going to master one platform, master one platform first. I want you to remember this slide here, why we use social media and we use it because it's the window into our life. It's the window into what we do. It's the window into people having a little peek, but they might not want to take a full look yet. Timing is everything. In network marketing, timing is everything. And you might be giving out the right message, but it's just not the right time for that person yet. But they will watch you and they will continue to watch you. So network marketing is marketing to your network. You have to remember that your network is there. I want you either now, if you have a device handy or at the end of this call, I want you to write down how many friends you have on Facebook. I want you to write today's date and how many friends you have on Facebook. And what you're gonna do from that is you are going to grow that all the time. You're going to add more friends. You're going to engage better. You're going to find people that have similar interests. You're going to network because you are a network marketer. And my aim and my goal is to teach you guys, you know, how to do it in a professional mode and how to do it in a mode that you feel really, really comfortable doing. So that social media is not a chore. Social media is a joy and it is incredible. And it is the most effective tool that we have as network marketers, the most effective tool. OK, so let's have a look at preparing your social media because it is a tool and it is a business that we're running. Remember, treat it like a business. OK, and remember that photo of the window. OK, so we're going to be looking into your life. We're going to be looking into what you do. You want to be somebody. OK, you want to be somebody that people are interested in on social media so that they're going to say, yes, actually, yes. I want to follow that person. I want to follow that person. You need to be interesting. OK, you need to be professional. You need to be inviting. You need to be warm. You need to be engaging. You need to be somebody worth following. And I want you to ask the question to yourself right now. Would you follow you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Do you feel that, yes, I'm on fire with social media or no, I'm absolutely drowning? Let me know in the comments. Do you feel with social media that, yes, you are on fire or no, not really? <laughs> I would love to know. I would love to know. OK, so let me have a look. Yes, I'm on fire with social media. Amazing. Brilliant. I love this. Aoife Drowning. Aoife, there's an Irish name. Are you here in Ireland? I think maybe you are. No, not at all. That's why I'm here, Sarah. Absolutely, Sarah. So you're going to be hopefully really, really motivated after this to get back on track with socials. OK, so not really, not really. Um, yeah, Ireland, super. I'm on fire, but not consistent. OK, so we're going to talk about that as well, because this is the thing. Consistency is key. OK, so consistency is key. Fantastic. Can't find my platform. OK, so if you're struggling on what platform to use, OK, if you're struggling on what platform to use, I would encourage you to start on Facebook. OK, so just start on Facebook and ignore everything else. Literally have that laser focus. So when you look at um, a horse that's about to do a race, 
it has these things either side of the face, doesn't it? Because it doesn't look either side. It doesn't look around. You need to be really, really consistent, not consistent, focused. OK, so you're focusing on what it is you're doing. So Facebook, one million percent has given me. I can honestly say I don't even know how many managers I must look at my stats. My recruitment through Facebook is insane. The managers I've created from people I've met through Facebook is insane. Um, Facebook is for my generation anyway, for, for my age group and for the people that I want to attract into my business, which are ideally mums who are like me, who want to stay at home with their kids. And that's my target market. Facebook is the one. Now, what I did do was link my Facebook to my Instagram. So when I post on Facebook, it goes to Instagram or when I post on Instagram, it goes to Facebook. So you can intertwine the two of them. So I did my stories this morning drinking my aloe vera. So find me on Instagram. Feel free to find me on Instagram and follow what I do and what I post and then recreate it for yourself, because what I do definitely does work. And, you know, when I did that this morning, it went on to my Facebook story. So you can do both. OK, you can do both and have them intertwined, but prepare your bio. So what is it you want your bio? So you want your photograph on your platform. So on your Facebook. OK, let's just look at Facebook for now. OK, you want that photograph, your profile picture to be a clear photo of you on your own looking at the camera. Guys, the iPhones nowadays, all these different fantastic phones that we have, have great cameras. You don't need professional photos. Get somebody to take a photo of you with a blank background. OK, so you see in my one there, I have a blank background. Don't have a profile picture that has many people in it, because if somebody comes across you, they don't know who you are. Don't have your animals, your pets, your and I love animals. I have three dogs here, but I wouldn't have my dogs as my profile picture. And um, don't have, you know, flowers, children, anything like that. It has to be you. It has to be you. Your cover photo, I would suggest that you have you in it again. And like that, something maybe with your laptop out or that you're working or maybe your family picture. If you really want to include your family in it, you can have your family in it. But for professional wise, two photos of you are very, very good in it. And again, it's something that you can do. So put that top of your priority. OK, you're going to build your business on social media. After this call, you're going to go right. I'm going to do it right. I'm going to start where I mean to go on. And that's one of the big things. Then prepare your bio. OK, so your bio is what people will go in and have a have a have a read of. OK, so I put business mom and mentor. That's what I am. I'm a mom, but I'm a business mom and mentor. I help women earn a second income online. Of course, I help men as well. OK, we've lots of men in our team, but I want the attraction marketing to be that women feel comfortable messaging me. I help women do that. OK, now over 20 million in sales in my group. OK, that's the truth. That's what we've had over 20 million in sales. Um, but you don't have to write anything about what sales you've done. OK, you don't have to. On my Instagram bio, I think I have type one, type one mom because my daughter has type one. And um, I have similar to that. And then I add a type one mom as well, because I have a lot of people follow me on Instagram whose children have diabetes. So that would be one of my target markets is not my target markets, but people that would follow me through the world of diabetes. So I wrote that on there. So have a think what's going to be your bio. What do you do? OK, so a little bit about who you are and what you do. That's what your bio is, who you are and what you do and how you can help that person. So you want that person to go, wow, she helps people earn a second income. I help people earn a laptop lifestyle. Whatever way you want to describe it, have it on your bio. Don't have in your bio that you work in the supermarket or that you are a secretary or that you are, um, you know, I don't know, a nurse. Don't have that in your bio because you want to use social media not to um, you don't want social media to be about your daytime job. If you have one, you want social media to be about your network marketing business. OK, so nobody really nobody really needs to know what it is you're doing during the day, if that makes sense. It's what you do in your network marketing business, because that's where we're trying to encourage people. OK, so. What to post? This is the big, big thing, isn't it? People say, I don't know what to post. I'm stuck. I don't know what to post. I don't know what to be saying every day. Can anyone relate? Can anyone relate? Let me know in the chat bar if you're like, I just don't know what to say. 
that you sit down and you just go, oh, what do I post today? What do I say? So this is going to help you. So you're going to have these. You go, you want, I want you to think of these four pillars. I call it pillars of consistency. Some people use buckets as an analogy. So if you have buckets or you have pillars or you have four life things, so four things in your life. So what is it? What is it that you are passionate about? What makes your soul sing? OK, what makes your soul sing? What do you find really, really easy to talk about? What are the most important things in your life? Pick four things right now. Type them in the chat. Let me know. Just think about it. Type it. So for me, one of my pillars is or one of my buckets would be my husband, James and my kids. So family. So family life is very, very important to me. And I post about it all the time. The second thing would be my business. OK, so business. Huge. Because that's where I want to attract people. But you cannot have just business posts all the time. It just doesn't work. You cannot have it. So if you're constantly posting about forever, constantly posting about network marketing, constantly posting about all that, people are going to unfollow you. They're going to unfollow you and they're going to say, no, no, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be someone that's constantly posting about that. Oh, I don't want to be doing that. That is what people think. So you have to create an environment where people actually go into your profile to see what you're at. And they go in because they think, goodness, well, what's Neve up to these days? Let's go in and have a goo. Let's go in and have a look. People are nosy, <laughs> but they want to follow you all the same. OK, so what makes your soul sing? So I have James and the kids as one of my buckets. My next one, I have um, my business. So all about aloe recruiting, working from home, all of that is in one bucket or one pillar. OK, so I have James and the kids and my family. I have my business, everything business orientated in the other. Then I have um, type one diabetes because my daughter was diagnosed with type one diabetes nearly six years ago. And it is a massive, massive thing for the family. It's a, you know, a life altering condition. And she was 10 when she was diagnosed. So a lot of people, for me, I wanted to keep people educated and informed on the condition and, you know, to raise awareness, because when people are, um, you know, when people hear diabetes, they quite often don't understand it, that you can have two different types. So for me, I went on a mission to inform people and educate them on the condition. So that's a big, big thing for me. And then the fourth would be a mix between my dogs, because um, we have three gorgeous dogs. Oh, and we live on a seaside. So we live near the beach. Now, let me tell you, for you guys in Australia, like that's a big thing. The Australian beaches, the scenery, all that kind of stuff. Like I don't have we don't have the sunshine that you guys have. And yet I can still do posts about how beautiful it is. OK, so that's my four things. That's what I concentrate on all the time. OK, so family, my experience sharing them, business products and inspirational quotes. My family, my business, my getaways, peace of mind. Love it. Absolutely love it. OK, my family. Yeah, inspirational quotes, music, forever products, physical challenges and my pets. Love it. Fantastic. Let me know, guys. Come on. We've over 50 on the call today. Don't be shy. OK, I need to get to know you guys a little bit more. So let me know what would be your big thing. OK, what would you what are you going to talk about? What are going to be your pillars? OK, so now that you know your pillars, you know what makes your soul sing. If you are talking about something that you are passionate about, you will have no problem. Absolutely no problem doing posts and doing stories. It's if you're trying to force it, if you're trying to force something and you're trying to write about forever all the time and it's not making your soul sing and it doesn't feel natural, then that's where the problem lies. Whereas if you can find something that you are passionate about, that makes your soul sing, you will have no problem at all. Remember, OK, people will do business. Now, this slide is probably the most important slide of this whole presentation. People will do business with people that they know, like and trust. That they know, like and trust and see the you in the middle. Trust you. You are creating your own brand. 
I am brand Neve Kiernan. I am not brand Forever Living Products. I work under the umbrella of phenomenal company that I love with all my heart and that has given me, you know, an, a, 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 a lifestyle that I could only ever have imagined. But I don't all the time talk about forever. I actually went down through my Facebook last night and I can't remember the last time I did a post about Forever Living Products. I don't do it. I am brand Neve. You are brand Sarah. You are brand John, whatever your name is. That is what you are. And that's what you need to understand. OK, that is what you need to understand. They are not buying forever from you because they love forever. They are buying forever from you because they love what you have to say about the product. They love that you are passionate about the product. They love that they see you using the product. They love all of that. OK, so please, please, please remember that. So create your brand. Be yourself. There is nobody else like you. Don't try and copy people. It doesn't work because everybody is doing their own brand. Be authentic. Be the real you. Now, it's OK to be inspired. Absolutely. If you see a post, I quite often see a post from other leaders and I go, oh, that sounds so good. And I see, is there a way that I can do it, that I can actually do it? And there is. And you can use that for inspiration. But don't just go in and copy a post because that just doesn't work. OK, you need to be you. One million percent you. OK, how are we doing for time? Good, good, good. OK, so remember this. Motivation gets you started. Habits keep you going. So motivation gets you started, but habits keep you going. So you'll get off this call tonight and you'll be motivated. Probably tomorrow as well, maybe even the next day. But you know what, guys? Motivation, it wears off. Can anyone relate to that? Is there anyone on this call that has days where they don't feel motivated? Where they just get up and it's like, nah, not feeling it today. <laughs> just not feeling it. No, not motivated. Don't feel like doing my business. Oh, sure, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next day. Oh, sure. Yeah, Saturday might be better. I'll make time for, for my business on Saturday. And what happens is it goes into camp someday that you'll do it someday. I'm busy with the kids. No, no, I'm busy. I'm busy. Guys, unless you're going to get rid of your kids, you'll always be busy with your kids. And that's the truth. It doesn't matter how old they get. You're still busy. OK, so it means just finding that snippet of little time to fit in what it is you're doing. Motivation is great when you're motivated, but motivation is like showering. You need to do it every day. So how will you motivate yourself? Well, the number one thing I say for motivation is to think of your why. Think of why you're doing this. That motivates you. That motivates me. Think of the what will happen if you don't do it. So if you don't do the activity, Never mind social media. If you don't do the activity to build your forever business, what's going to happen? So the opposite of what you want is what you don't want. And if a lot of what you don't want is coming towards you, you don't want that. <laughs> that's a lot of don't wants, isn't it? But that's what happens. OK, so you need to stay motivated. Read books. Let me know in the chat bar if you're reading a good book at the minute. Where's my book? I know oh, my book is upstairs. I'm reading a really, really good book at the minute. So who's reading motivational books? Who's listening to audios? Who's literally absorbing in all the positivity and motivation that you can get? OK, because that's what you need to do. So motivation gets you started. But it is habits that keep you going. It is habits. One million percent. Well, actually, when James was doing this slide, he said, Neve, is it habits or is it discipline? He said, would discipline be better in there? James does all my slides. Um, and, you know, he said, would, would, would discipline? And what I love working about with James and, you know, we do slides together, we do presentations together, is that he knows forever so well. He's not just somebody putting together slides. He's built this business with me. And it's like, is it habits or is it discipline? But I like habits because I think habits keep you going. You need to get into the habit of doing your social media. You need to get into the habit of doing your story. You need to get into the habit of 
sending happy birthday wishes on Facebook. You need to get into the habit of talking about your dogs. You need to get into the habit. It's habits. And then when the habits produce results, the results will keep you motivated. Okay. So it is a cycle, 1 million percent cycle. So let me just have a little look in the chat. Okay. So yes, 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 yes. Lots of yeses, lots of me's. Oh my God, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not alone. Okay. I'm clueless about social media. Good. I'm glad you're here. So, okay. I'm not a reader of motivation content. Okay. So you need to change that. Okay. Leaders are readers and readers are leaders. So if you want to build a networking business, you need to become a reader because even if it's one chapter a day, again, excuses, excuses will keep you broke your whole life. Excuses will keep you in the spot you are with no movement at all. So you need to say to yourself, no, I am a reader and I'm going to start by reading one chapter a day. And if that's too much, one page a day, and then you will become a reader. Okay. Um, oh, yes, Sarah, dare to dream and work to win with Dr. Tom Barrett. So Dr. Tom Barrett is one of my favorite speakers in the world. And I have been lucky enough to be with him on weekends. And we've had I've gone over to lots of his motivational um, weekend retreats and he is incredible. Yeah. Dr. Tom Barrett, dare to dream and work to win. Love it. So, guys, that's a great one. You can get it on audio as well. So you can get all this online, you know. Um, my habit, listen to a minimum of one video per day. Amazing. And then I need to become a reader. Yes, for sure. Great. Thank you for sharing, guys. I really love getting feedback. I love hearing from you guys. OK, so let me know in the chat bar. Are you finding this valuable? Are you finding that you are learning anything so far? I would love to know. OK, so your tiny little things. This is it, guys. This is my jazz. This is my jam. This is what I honestly live by. The TLTs, the tiny little things. OK, so the tiny little things. So what are the tiny little things? The tiny little things are what you need to do every day to build your business. So when we advertised this call, I said, I'm going to show the guys how to do 30 minutes a day every day. The power of 30 minutes. So 30 minutes a day and what you're going to do in those 30 minutes. So quite often people say to me, Neve, I can do 30 minutes. That's not a problem. I just don't know what to do in those 30 minutes. <laughs> OK, so let's have a look. OK, so the TLTs, I want you to remember that. The tiny little things. So you're going to do one post every day. You're going to use your pillars, remember? So in order to do your tiny little things, if you become overwhelmed and if you become, you know, that person that sits every day and says, I still don't know what to post. I know what my pillars are. I know what my topics are. I really, really want this to work, but I don't know what to post. I need you to start doing a social media plan. So your social media plan is going to be on a Sunday night. OK, and I want you to do this for the next month and see, does it make a difference? So you sit down on a Sunday night and you do out a plan. So plan for the week, what are your posts going to be? So that you know when you get up on a Wednesday, if your post is going to be about your dogs, then it's easy, you just sit and you do the post. If you know that your post is going to be about um, your aloe, you, then it's easy, you know what to do. If it's gonna be about, um, come look at what I do, I have an information evening coming up, then you know that that's what it's going to be. So plan out, use a social media content planner. So one post per day, use your pillars and plan. Two stories per day, okay? So if you don't use stories, start using stories, okay? There's so many videos on YouTube that can teach you how to use stories, whether it be a post, whether it be a video. And it is scary, guys, it is scary as hell. I still don't like doing it. I did two stories this morning on drinking aloe vera on my aloe. And I did it because I haven't done aloe in days and days and days. And it was time for me to do aloe. So feel free to go in, find me, follow me, have a wee look at my stories. And you will see that it was just me talking about the benefits of drinking aloe. And, you know, it is scary. It is one million percent scary. So if you feel scared, that's OK. But you need to feel the fear and do it anyway. 
because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing day in and day out and expecting a different result. So that's just not going to happen. You have to try something new. You need to do something new. OK, so let me just see. I admit everybody. Sorry, guys, there's still people joining. OK, so your product group, your testimonials. Do you have a product group? Let me know in the chat bar, guys. I need to hear from everyone on this because I need to know whether it's worthwhile, whether you guys need training on how to set up a product group, run a product group, and how to best get the most from it. Because I have three product groups. Okay, I have three product groups. And one of them is for women only. One of them is for men only. And one of them is a mixture. And I have 175,000 people across three product groups on Facebook. They're engaging, they're chatting, they're buying. And it's not just me, it's for me and my team. OK, so we run team groups. So what I'd love you to do after this call, if you have a team, is to chat to them and say, OK, how do you feel about setting up a product group? Neve is going to help us with some trainings. Is it something that's of interest? So if that's something of interest to you, let me know, because it's definitely a training that we can pop in in the next few weeks to get you up and running with your Facebook group. So Facebook groups are great, but that's one of my non-negotiables. That's something that I do every day is I pop in. Now, again, that's something that's planned. So with the people in my team, we plan what we're going to post, what we're going to focus on, what our product of the week is going to be, what the testimonials are going to be and um, what we're going to say and what specials we're going to do, if any. OK, so that's what we do. So that's very, very good for sales. We're going to engage on other people's posts. So if I said to you, you've got 30 minutes now, you've got 30 minutes, so you're going to pick up your phone. Yeah. And we are going to do engage on other people's posts. So what you do is you go in on Facebook, you start scrolling, but you set your timer. You set your timer on your phone for five minutes. So I do this all the time because otherwise what happens? Otherwise we fall into a scroll hole. <laughs> we call it we call it a scroll hole because that's what it is. You'll sit down for 30 minutes and you're going to do all these things. And after 30 minutes, like what happens to me after 30 minutes, I end up seeing, you know, women having babies and, you know, babies doing all these funny things. And because of all the things that I follow on Facebook, I end up in a scroll hole that I'm like, OK, that was really an awful waste of 30 minutes or a waste of an hour. And I get really frustrated and I get really upset with myself. And I'm like, why do you do it all the time? So I do it as well. This is not something that, you know, you become immune to. I have to remind myself of this all the time. I have to pull myself back to the habits all the time. So don't think that you're not doing it right just because you find yourself do it because that's me. One million percent. OK, so what we have is you're going to set the timer for five minutes and you're going to go down and you're going to find someone's post. So you're going to find someone's post and you're going to go, oh, you're going to love it. You're going to go in, you're going to love it and you're going to comment by you commenting that person will say, oh, God, there's Neve. I haven't seen Neve in ages. What's, what's that person going to do? They're going to go in and they're going to look at my profile. What's Neve up to? They're going to go in. They're going to look at my profile. Does that make sense? So it's not all about broadcasting all the time. It's about adding value. It's about being genuine. And at the end of the day, you're making friends. How cool is that? OK, so some people will never buy off you and some people will never um, will never join your team. That's OK. But what you are going to create is a network and you're going to, going to create a network of people that value you, that like you, that trust you and that will use you as a referral. So if they know of somebody that has a bad stomach condition or they know of somebody that needs aloe or they know of somebody that needs an extra income, they will think of you. So you're going to add value for five minutes. You're going to love comments. You're going to love um, posts. You're going to comment. You're going to help where you can. If someone is looking for information on something, go find out the answer and answer them. OK, you're going to be that person for five minutes. And then you go on and you're going to engage on stories. Again, you're going to set your alarm for five minutes. 
So you literally go into stories. So let me show you. OK, so if I go into, you yeah, probably can't even show you at this stage. Um, but if I go into stories and I hit on Marion's story, OK. Um, or the next story. OK, so this girl I know, she's just gotten married she's on her honeymoon. So if I write a comment there, she's going to see the comments. So it's engaging her into me. OK, so we're going to chat. I know we'll end up chatting. So when you comment on people's stories, you end up chatting, which is fantastic. OK, so you end up chatting. OK, so look at my messages. Um, there's someone just mailing me literally from my story this morning. Um, hey, Neve, how are you? Absolutely adored the aloe vera juice. Um, do you have a loyalty club or anything that I could join? Any suggestions for me as I really like it and want to stay on it? Brilliant. That's literally a message that I'm after getting. So that's a customer that had bought the, the, the mango gel off me and has now seen my story this morning. So the story's prompt. The stories will prompt people to mail you. OK, that's what it will do. The stories will prompt people to mail you about your product or service. And that's what we want. So you're going to engage on people's stories. You're going to engage on people's posts. You're going to wish happy birthday. Who does that? Who goes in every day and sees Facebook will tell you. Facebook will actually tell you whose birthday it is. And you go, don't post on their wall. Mail them. Mail them direct and wish them a happy birthday. Because when you mail them direct, it's going to have a much more impact than writing on their wall. OK, much more. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, I do wishes on their wall. Yeah, brilliant. Well, wishes are better than nothing. But I would highly recommend changing from wishes to actual um, direct mail. OK, so direct mail is much better. Um, what is the difference in a post and a story in your mind? Is a story only Insta or is Facebook posts? OK, so um, Facebook posts will be there all the time. Facebook posts are there all the time. Stories disappear after 24 hours. So stories disappear after 24 hours. I would love um, I would love you to try stories. OK, I'd love you to try stories. Stories is where you will sell product absolutely like that that's proof there okay stories is where you will sell you will sell 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 from stories and then on instagram i want you to write down this word highlights because on instagram when you are posting on your stories you can then save those stories into specific highlights so i have a highlight for allo 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 it's called okay it's one of my highlights and the other highlight would be my world. So anything got to do with the children. My other highlight is number one team. So all about our team and all the fun we have in building business. Another highlight might be the dogs. And then when you actually post on your story, it will ask you, do you want to put it to one of your highlights? So if it goes into one of your highlights, it then stays on your page forever. So you can be doing all these brilliant things on stories, but you need to pop it in as a highlight so that it stays on your page. So again, this is something we can go into more detail, guys, on social media, on another training. I'm just know we're very, very short on time here. OK, so networking on purpose. Remember that that 30 minutes or one hour a day, whatever you give yourself is networking on purpose. We are network marketers. We know what our purpose is. As Dr. Tom Barrett always says. OK, so one of you guys is reading uh, Dr. Tom Barrett at the minute. We are paid. We are paid in network marketing to put our business and our product in front of a new set of eyeballs every day. That is our number one goal. We cannot keep talking to the same people over and over and over and over again about our product if they don't want to buy. Or if they are buying, there's only so much one person is going to buy. So it's about having a new audience all the time and bringing up new, you know, new customers. OK, so. Facts tell, but stories sell. OK, so I love this slide. I absolutely love this slide. I'm actually going to take a photo of this. So I'm going to take a photo of this slide for my stories later, because this will be a great one for me to put up in my stories and say, you know, I've been helping people with social media. Again, it's just social proof. OK, so facts tell, but story, facts tell, stories sell. So you'll see the first story there is clinic day. So we were in the diabetes clinic 
and oh I was wearing the same top that I'm wearing today look at that <laughs> so that was only uh, last week or the week before and we had a clinic day with Sarah with her diabetes and I put up clinic day okay because again remember I'm telling a story okay the next one in my story is feeling stuck no you need change but feel terrified at the same time let me hold your hand so this was an invitation to our business presentation meeting online yeah so from this I got to mail people that viewed the story and said can I tempt you with the link and I got people coming on so there's a lot of people watching guys there's an awful lot of people watching the next one was my car plan so the earned incentive so the logo okay so loving our new logo forever have a very generous incentive called car plan where they give you money towards your car OK, so that got a lot of interaction. The next one, amazing night. So all the children at the end of their school year, they come, will go down the beach and they have a big bonfire and the kids swim in the water, even though it's freezing, but they do it. And um, so that went in my stories. The next one there, you do not want to miss this event all online. You can also watch back, mail me to be added to the list. So you might have seen last week or the week before we had a sugar cravings webinar, didn't we? Let me know if you're on the sugar cravings webinar. And that was an ideal opportunity to get your guests involved. I advertised it in my stories. OK, so we had one in Ireland as well. I advertise it in my stories. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I need help with sugar. Absolutely. So when you're talking in your stories all the time, people are watching your stories. OK, people are watching your stories. One million percent. OK, so. Um, OK, so I was in the sugar cravings, but no guests. OK, so let me ask you, would it be um, something that you would like for us to run again? Because we have figured out what the problem was with the video. It just wasn't in the actual presentation properly. So we can definitely run it again. You know, maybe we'll run it in a month's time and this will give you a chance to get your social media going again properly and to get proper interaction and to get people onto that again. We're also going to run other customer orientated events. We're going to run some skincare related. We're going to run some nutrition related um, and give you an opportunity to invite your guests on. So I think that will add value as well. So um, that's the stories. More story samples. OK, so Hazel's graduation tonight. So you can see my buckets are my kids. OK, so they were graduating school and um, the famous C9 cleanse. OK, so after listening all about our sugar cravings. So this was a story I did after the sugar cravings event um, and then motivational quotes. So self-care is not selfish. It's essential. So I actually got a really nice mail um, from a cousin of mine who I wouldn't see all the time. I wouldn't be very close to her, but I'm connected on socials. And she mailed me recently and she said, Neve, I love your stories. I love your posts. I love that you are a reminder that we need to mind ourselves and we need to be good to ourselves and we need to have, you know, to mind our health better and to have us time. And, you know, and it was just such a lovely mail to get because it made me think, well, yeah, the, you know, the story that I'm getting out there, what I'm portraying to people is getting across. People are listening to it. OK, um, I have a question. Should I engage on people's stories on my main account or in my business account? OK, so I only use my personal account. The business account that I have, I purely use just if I was doing advertising, if I was doing any kind of paid advertising. Um, so most people just follow me on my personal account. So remember, we spoke about mastering one platform. OK, mastering one platform, your personal account. Honestly, it is the most powerful tool that you have. OK, so let's have a look at some post samples. So different things. So you can see here a variety of different things that I have. OK, so you're invited. So that's an invitation to the business presentation that we were doing. Again, a photograph of just me with a laptop. The next one is uh, myself and Hazel. Again, my family. The next one, myself and James, my family, myself and my sister, my family. The bottom one. OK, so it's a get together that we had uh, with Michael, our new country sales manager. So he came to the house. But even if Michael wasn't there, guys, OK, if Michael wasn't there and we literally just had a couple of people together for a cup of coffee, I would post that. OK, so I would post that because it's a little reminder every few posts that you have a business. 
but they're engaging photographs. They're photographs that make people kind of want to know a little bit more about you and make you want to make them want to like, know and trust you more. Motivational quotes. I love them. Absolutely love them. So there comes a point in your life that you realize that turning the page is the best feeling in the world because there's so much more in the book than the page you are stuck on. So motivational quotes that are going to make people think about their life and are going to make them think about, um, you know, what it is that they need to do. OK, so uh, with their life, basically. OK, so ask, 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 ask. Now, this is particularly for people that are interested in building a bigger business. Now, this is something that I want to see loads and loads and loads of comments for because I need to know because I'm going to be working a lot more with you guys and I need to know where you need the most help. We've over 50 people on, guys, so I want to see the comments now, okay? Is it the retail that you're interested in? Is it that you want an extra three or four hundred dollars? So does an extra three or four hundred dollars interest you or is it more two or three thousand dollars per month interest you? Is it the retail income that sets your soul on fire or is it the residual income of having a bigger income coming in? It does not matter that you might not know how. OK, it does not matter. I want you if you knew everything you needed to know and you had all the tools at your fingertips. What is it that you want? Let me know in the chat bar. What is it that you want? And I want everyone commenting now, guys. So the residual income, the residual income. Ruth, Ruth loves the retail. Yeah, bigger income, residual income, residual income, passive income and retail. Bigger income, residual, bigger, would love a bigger income. Okay, so most people, most people do get started in forever for the retail. That was me. I saw an extra 50 euro per week. I thought to myself, if I could earn an extra 50 euro per week, that would be fantastic. OK, but what I found was that once I got started, and once I became, you know, a raving fan of the products and I started using all the products that I became more confident, I had more belief and I could talk to more people about the business. And there are so many people. There are so many people out there that need our business. So it's actually quite easy to do once you get your mind in the game that you want to do it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Super guys. Okay, so I'll just be another few minutes. I know we're bang on an hour now. So I'm just be another few minutes. So I want you to ask, 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 ask two people per day to take a look at our opportunity. Okay, so I want you to ask yourself when we talk about habits and we talk about be consistent and we talk about developing that habits that's going to keep the motivation going. What about two people per day? What if you could develop a daily habit of two people per day that was going to absolutely change your life? So you need to let go of the outcome. You need to completely let go of the outcome. So here's some magic words that I use all the time. Remember, we have an opener. We have a purpose. We have to give them the out and we have a call to action. So magic words formula. So, hey, Sarah, how's things? Hope you're well. How's the kids? Some weather we're having. <laughs> OK, so I always talk about the weather because here in Ireland, the weather is a topic of conversation that everyone chats about. Absolutely. Everyone chats about. OK. So some of Sarah saying there, she finds it hard to approach people. So Sarah, using this approach, you won't have a problem because you're going to just be chit chat. So the magic of chit chat. And I want you to remember the magic of chit chat and the magic words. OK, so the magic of chit chat and the magic words. You can do this in two ways. OK, so you can do this in two ways. You can have one big message to somebody or you can send them that first message wait for a response and then go again with the second message. So I would always say to someone wanted to touch base, our work from home business is expanding and we're looking for key people to work alongside us for that additional income stream. Would you be open to taking a look? Absolutely no hassle if not, just wanted to touch base. Let me know your thoughts. And that's what I would say. You know, I would give them the out. So the out is giving someone the opportunity because I'm saying there, absolutely no hassle if not, so they're saying, do you know what, Neve? it's really not for me. I love watching your posts. I love drinking aloe, but no, I don't want to do that. That's 
okay, it's given them the out. The may, the opener is, how are you? How's the kids? Say something personal to them. How was your holiday? I saw you were away. The pictures looked fab. Was it hot? Oh, hey, Sarah, how are you? How's the dog? I saw that your doggy had a little operation. Hope everything's okay. Listen, wanted to touch base. Hey, Sarah, how's things? How's the how's Katie's arm? I saw she broke her arm. Ouch, looks really sore. I really hope that she's okay. Look, wanted to touch base. So the second part is always the same. The first part has to be personal. Otherwise, you're spamming. We are not in a spamming business. We are not in a business that is going to absolutely. And this is where network marketing gets a bad name is people give it a bad name. But you're not going to because you're going to be yourself. You're going to be genuine. You're going to reach out to people with integrity and you're going to, you know, talk to them and, and be real with them. So the magic words I definitely find helps. OK, I think they're very, very good. And remember, it's social proof. OK, so it's social proof. So the social proof is. Oh, what I want to say here is don't just talk the talk, walk the walk. There's no point in doing all of this in Messenger and not putting stuff on your page. So if you go in and look at my page straight away now, if I message someone about the business, so if I mail somebody about the business right now, they are going to come back. And the very first thing they're going to do before they mail me back, the very first thing they're going to do is um, look at my profile. They're going to look at my profile and they're going to go, yeah. OK, I definitely need to have a look at what she's doing. <laughs> OK, or they're going to look through the profile and go, no, actually, maybe not. I don't think that's for me. But if you look down through my profile, you won't see me posting about forever. You won't see me posting about forever, but you'll see me talking about product in my stories. OK, so you have to remember you are not going to be forever, 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 forever. You're going to be creating brand you. OK, so brand you and talking about health talking about happiness, talking about your four pillars, remember, your buckets, and you most importantly develop that daily habit of what you need to do. Now, this is something that I decided to put in because it's one of my big sayings, and I say it all the time. I just say to the kids now when I say to my children, belly buttons, they go, I know, ma'am, I know, it doesn't matter what people say. So if I say belly buttons to my kids, they go, I know it doesn't matter what people think of me. Because so many people go through life worrying about what other people think of them. So many people go through life terrified to be different, terrified to do something, terrified to take the road less traveled. When really and truly, we only have one life. And are those people, so we're worried what people think we're worried what people are saying. We're worried that we're not going to do that post because we don't want to piss people off. We're worried that we don't want to do that story because people might get so sick listening to us. So what? As I say, if they don't like me, they can unfollow me. I have enough people following me that it makes zero difference because I've built up. One of the things I forgot to put into the TLTs was friend requesting. So if you only have 400 people on Facebook, you need to friend request five new people per day. You need to go in, find people of similar um, like that, your buckets. So if one of your things is um, dogs, OK, and you have a Cavalier King Charles, I want you to go in and join some Facebook groups that are about Cavalier King Charles. You're going to go in and join the Facebook groups. You're going to add value to that group. You're going to comment in the group and then you are going to friend request the people that you are interacting with. So you are then creating more friends on Facebook with a similar interest to you who will then go and like and follow you. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I know this training could be three hours long. There's so much more I can give you. There's so much more um, value that I can share all around social media. It's so much more than one hour. But this is very, very important. Opinions are like belly buttons. Everyone has them but they're useless. And I want you to honestly think to yourself right now that the people that you're worried about, what they'll say, what they'll do, what they'll think of you, are they going to pay your bills? Are they going to come and put food on your table? Are they going to come and bring you and your family on vacation? Are they going to come and pay your credit card off? 
probability is the answer is no. So why? Why do we become absolutely paralyzed by the fear of what other people think when at the end of the day, the most important thing is what's happening in the four walls of your home for you and your family? So opinions are like belly buttons. Everyone has them and they're useless. So what I would say to you is let go of the outcome. Let go of the outcome. Do the activity. Create a habit. And you will find the longer you're doing this, the habit becomes easier and easier and easier and more fun and more enjoyable because you'll realize that it's so much easier than you think. But you have to let go of the outcome and you have to stop worrying what people think because the day that you stop worrying, the day that you stop worrying what people think is the day you will have ultimate freedom. Because that is the day where you will do what you want, say what you want, feel what you want and not worry about the opinions of other people and how that will affect them. I love this slide. Absolutely love it. Starve your distractions, feed your focus. Starve your distractions, feed your focus. And it's all about that. Creating the habits, creating the momentum consistency is key with social media and with your business in general so with your business in general never mind social media feed your focus what does your business need what do you need and starve your distractions okay because that is the most important thing so finishing up guys 30 minutes a day might seem insignificant it might seem that it's just oh sure that's not enough Neve. I'd need to be doing three hours a day four hours a day five hours a day no you don't you can build this business in the nooks and crannies of your everyday life you can build this business around all the madness of your life I can guarantee that five minutes here, 10 minutes here. You have your list of your TLTs. You know what you need to do. You're going to stay focused and you're going to build that habit and you're going to do it consistently so that if you do it consistently, it becomes enjoyable then and it becomes just part of what you do every day. So that is super, super important to remember. But look at this, guys. Look at these figures. 30 minutes every day is 210 minutes a week, 910 a month and 10,920 a year. Like this is incredible. So when you think you can't fit in your business, you think you're working full time, there's no way I could do it. I'm really struggling. I'm time poor. I'm this, I'm that. The excuses, the excuses, the excuses. And then we look at the power of 30 minutes a day. The power of 30 minutes a day. And you think to yourself, yeah, okay, I can do 30 minutes a day. So what I did, I gave up watching TV. So I gave up watching TV, nighttime TV, never watch it, never, ever, ever watch the TV anymore because evening time is generally when I work. So I'm very, very much present at home with the kids, with my family, with my home, with everything else, all the things I love to do. I do a few stories during the day. I might put up a post in the morning and then evening time is when I work on my networking and with my team and that kind of stuff. So, um, so I gave up watching TV. OK, so what if we don't have any social media account? Well, you need to get one. OK, so you need to get a social media account. So you need to log into Facebook and you need to join. That's what you need to do. OK, so you need to start at the start. And remember, guys, remember, 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 don't fall down the scroll hole. Don't fall down the scroll hole, because as I said, it is literally constant. You can go on for 30 minutes a day. But if you're not doing the TLTs, if you're not doing the things that you know that you need to do, then you're just scrolling. And if you're just scrolling, you're just down the scroll hole and you will feel frustrated and you will feel annoyed and you will not get results and you will not see any movement in your business. So it's very, very, it's mission critical that you don't fall down the scroll hole. Scroll hole you set timers on your phone for your different levels of activity. And um, because... What I find is in our business, we can be really and truly um, thinking about forever all the time. OK, we can be thinking about forever all the time. But that doesn't mean we are building a business. We could be thinking about it all the time. 
It can be in our mind 24 seven. We can wake up in the middle of the night thinking about it, but that's not building our business. Building our business is doing all the activity. It's activity based income producing activities. And if we can focus on the income producing activities and then do a rinse and repeat. So I say just rinse and repeat. Just do the same thing over and over and over again. That is what gets results. One million percent. That is what gets results. So I think it's enough for this evening, guys. You're going to be coming off going, wow, you're going to actually look like her, <laughs> that girl at the start. You're going to be feeling like this. I don't want you to feel, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here at the slide. See, I told you myself and technology is not great. I don't want you feeling like her. OK, you're going to pick one platform. You're going to focus on that one platform. I would highly recommend you pick Facebook and you start on Facebook. Facebook is such an easy one to navigate and it's such a simple, simple one to learn. Remember, Google is your friend. You can Google how to do anything. So don't say to yourself, I can't do it. Yes, you can. You can Google how to do a story. You can Google how to do a post if you're not sure. OK, but get your bio right. And remember the pillars. The pillars are really, really important. Remember what your content is going to be. You're a digital content creator. That is absolutely what you're going to be. And that's what you need to do. So I really hope that you enjoyed this evening. I have really enjoyed being here. I know I did a lot of talking and I do understand that there is an awful lot in this. And as I said, social media is not something that you can train in one hour. Social media is, if anything, a couple of days worth of trainings. There is so much in it. And there's so much, ex so many experts that I could bring on to help you guys as well. Um, but but invest in yourself, invest in your social media and um, yeah, keep keep doing it and keep being amazing. So thank you very much, guys. Good night, everybody. I'm just looking at the comments now. I learned a lot, simplified it well. Brilliant, brilliant, fantastic. I'm delighted. I'm absolutely delighted that you are getting so much from it. Now, what I want you to remember is, what I want you to remember is we have another business presentation. Uh, let me see, 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 see. Next Tuesday. Okay, so next Tuesday, the 1st, I'm doing another business presentation. So keep that in mind. Okay, so keep that in mind. We'll be advertising that now tomorrow. Um, and keep that in mind. So next Tuesday, the 1st, a business presentation. And next Wednesday, I'm doing another training. And the other training is the forever fundamentals, the building blocks of a successful business. So next Tuesday and Wednesday, the Tuesday, the business presentation, it's just as important. You're going to learn so much on it, but get a guest onto that one. So get a guest onto that one. And then the fun, the forever fundamentals one um, is just for yourself, for, um, for business owners. So that's to learn an awful lot more. Okay. So thanks a million, guys. Good night, everybody, and chat to you soon. Bye.